Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. Before we begin, hard to talk. <laughs> Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell because I have all kinds of toys coming up and usually I do videos every week on Thursdays or Fridays, but I am going to try my best to film, edit, and publish more often because I have so many toys that are here and I want you all to see them because I think they're amazing. So this is a new Encanto doll set with Mirabel and Antonio, the gift ceremony story set, only available at Target and it comes with Okay, in the movie, it's a stuffed animal, but I feel confident that the little tiger, not tiger, jaguar that she made for him is plastic, not stuffed, and comes in a box. I'm going to guess that this is a cardboard box, not a plastic box. It is by Jax Pacific, and it is for ages three and up, and again, this is exclusive just to Target. Yeah, only at Target. So I'm going to pause the camera. I'm really, really excited for the set. Okay, I'll be back. Stay tuned. So here is Mirabel Antonio in his ceremony outfit and the present she gave to him, which is a cardboard box. Before we look into the dolls, let's look at this. So it is a cardboard box. On one side, it's decorated with a lot of art. It has a blue parrot, yellow butterflies, a toucan, some blue animal that I don't know, maybe a capybara, a jaguar on one side, then a rainbow, and some clouds with rain on it. And then the lid has a sun, butterfly, there are blue flowers, and then printed on ribbon. Now, the printed on ribbon matches because I made sure that the lid uh, matches with the gift box. So it is cardboard, which means it's probably not going to hold up well to play. And it was a little hard for me to get the Jaguar in. I kind of wish it was plastic, but I mean, maybe it's better to be cardboard because then it can get recycled and people don't want it. Then you take it out. The little jaguar, the handmade jaguar that Mirabel made for Antonio. So it is plastic. He's so cute. Look how cute he is. He is very small. Let's see. A little under an inch tall. Yellow, uh, molded. Like he's just molded on, he has no articulation. It is yellowish orange with brown spots, blue turquoise stripes on his tail, a white muzzle, pink nose, little printed on buttons for his eyes. So cute. And then his ears have white on the inside. So cute. All right. Look how adorable Antonio is. He is so cute. In his ceremonial outfit, his dark brown skin, dark brown eyes, black curly hair. Oh, so cute. He has a closed smile. And then his ceremonial outfit is all one piece, but it's made to look like separate pieces, but it is one piece. It is a uh, what looks like a white shirt with a white printed on vest with a little bit of yellowish orange detailing to show that it should be a vest and the white pants with a little bit of yellow orange detailing I think to make it look like he has pockets but it's just one piece kind of like a jumpsuit I guess long sleeved a little bit of a collar on the top not a little bit, a collar on the top. He's so handsome. And then yellowish white plastic shoes. And you just have five points of articulation. Can bend, move his arms at the shoulders. He can bend his arms out a little bit too. Can sit down. 
So you can bend at the hips and then turn this head left and right. You cannot move, move it up and down though, just left and right. He has a little bit of box hair. There we go. A little bit of box hair. As you can tell, it's matted a bit, so the, it's not quite as curly in the back. And a little bit of flat, but you might be able to kind of like fix it a little bit so it can be more curly and not so flat in the back. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's look at Mirabelle. Mirabelle definitely has box hair. <laughs> Very flat in the back, and then you can even see her scalp. Whereas with Antonio, you can't see his scalp. Yeah, you can see how very flat her hair got. Um, but you can just fix it a little bit. There we go. And now you can't see the scalp anymore. So she does have green frames for her glasses, no lenses, and they are tied on with plastic. I'm keeping that on because I don't want them to fall off. And while she does wear a blouse and a skirt, it is all one piece. So um, it is one piece outfit. It just looks like a blouse and a separate skirt, but it's not. It's one piece. It's kind of like a satiny material. I don't know material, so I know it's not satin, but that's how it feels to me, kind of satiny. Obviously much more cheaper than satin, but that's how it feels to me. She has a ruffle collar that is scalloped. I like that it's not printed on. Most of her detailing of this dress is printed on, but I, I really appreciate the fact that they made her collar not printed on with scallop detailing. And I believe black butterflies on the scallop part. She has printed on pink butterfly and then uh, scalloped edges on her short sleeves, also with butterflies. She has blue flowers, pink flowers, and then her skirt portion is turquoise. Oh, her blouse portion is white. I don't know if I mentioned that. And her skirt portion is turquoise with a bunch of different designs. Oh, and her name. Her name at the top of the skirt. Now, the annoying thing to me is that they have like a little top part of the skirt that only goes on her front of the skirt. Like it doesn't go all the way around. Whereas the, the skirt part, like that goes all the way around, but this little top, like, I don't know what you call the top of a skirt. Like, you know, it looks like a belt, but it's not a belt. It's like the very top of the skirt, the band. Yeah, band. I think that's what it's called. I figured it out on my own and I didn't need to look it up. In fact, I'm not going to look it up because I feel like I'm right in that. I feel I am. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. I could be wrong. But the band in her skirt does not go around. I don't know why they didn't do that. That would have been, I feel easy to do. Maybe it would have been. Like they have the skirt portion. Oops, her shoe fell off. Um, her shoes are quite a bit loose. So I would suggest keeping the plastic ties on them if you don't want them to fall off. Um, my Isabella's shoes aren't loose. Weird. Yeah, because I took the plastic ties off that. But for whatever reason, Mita Bell's shoes aren't loose. Antonio's aren't loose. Huh, interesting. But Mita Bell's are a little bit loose, just letting you know. Yeah, so printed on detailing on the turquoise skirt, a bunch of different animals, different birds, um, all in different fun designs, different colors. And it does go around on the back of the skirt, which I think is nice, different designs. And then she does wear these hot pink plastic shoes that are very loose. So I suggest keeping the ties on them to, so they don't fall. <laughs> so cute. I'm really glad they made this set. I think it's just a really important part of the movie, which I love this movie so much. I'm going to try to get everything in Kanto toys because I love this movie. Seriously. I love so here they are with the gift that she gives him. It would be nice if like the little plastic toy was stuffed, but I think it would have been really, really hard to make a stuffed toy this small. So that's probably why they did it in plastic. Oh, so cute. 
Let me know what you think of this set. I'm really glad I have it because like I said, it's a very important part of the movie and I'm just, I'm just so excited to have it. So let me know and remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay again at heart. Bye!